Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin and see what they've been doing. So, first of all, let's get rid of that sticker and put that in the garbage. Let's dig around and see what they're doing. It looks like my bin is coming apart, my little screen windows. These are uh, red wigglers, European night crawlers, and blue worms mix in here. So I forgot to look at the video to see what we fed and on what layer. <clears throat> but I'm seeing the, uh, the turnip end that I know they've been working on for multiple, multiple weeks, maybe even a month or more. Um, you don't know. I feel like there's some food here. Oh, it's the pineapple. Is it hard to believe that pineapple still got some green leaves in there? Isn't that crazy? Let me know in the comments below if anybody's tried to grow a pineapple plant out of a pineapple head like this. It's weird. It it doesn't smell unpleasant, but it doesn't really smell like pineapple either. Strange. Avocado pit. So we didn't really get a worm ball. Uh, looks like the food that they have left is kind of long-term food. Alright. Well, I'm going to put all that food in the corner. Cover it up. And then let's look at the next layer down. All right. Okay, so I know that we put the towel on this layer, and uh, it had been in the bottom, and now it's in the middle. I don't remember if we fed this layer or not. But you can tell they are really, really getting at it now. Um, yeah, it's just falling apart in my hands. Let's see, looks like there's food in here too. But you can tell that the bottom or the middle here is pretty damp, which has been par for the course for my bins in the basement. Um, it has just been raining here a ridiculous amount, especially for July. And uh, everything stays wet. It's a dirt floor basement, so um, the moisture just kind of leaches through the bricks. Uh, I don't get water in my basement, but then again, I also have dampness. It's a nice, pretty new cocoon. So I'm smelling that there's some citrus in here or something. Um, I think I'm going to give them a handful of coconut coir, just get this... Uh, dried up a little. Put that back over there. The middle group is certainly doing a good job on this uh, towel. Really good. I could just as easy be using paper for this to dry it out a little. But all I have is prepared bedding in the basement here, and that's damp, so that wouldn't help me very much, would it? Okay, guys. No, this is not your get-out-of-worm-jail-free card. Back in you go. All right, let's look at the bottom. And as you can tell, lots of worms down here. The, uh, the bedding is quite wet. And it uh, looks like it's getting pretty finished down here. Also not seeing any food. Hmm. We might be looking at switching this to the top layer next time. I'm going to give them some uh, coconut coir to dry out this layer as well, but then I'm going to feed on the top layer because this is way too wet down here to feed. 
Might put my little avocado tree on the top though. I don't know why I feel compelled to try and grow trees that will not grow in Illinois. But I do. Alright, well these guys get drippings from the layers above and uh, so they're not hurting for nutrition down here in case anybody's like, oh you're not feeding the bottom. Everything just kind of drips through. Putting the middle layer on. And right now it's not that heavy, but when it gets full it really is heavy. <laughs> So if, if you are uh, challenged physically in any way, go with something smaller than the 10-gallon uh, per layer size. All right, well, let's see. We had the uh, pineapple over there in that corner, so let's maybe dig along the edge here, and I'll give them some new bedding. Okay. Good handful of the bedding. To me, it doesn't look like there's enough coconut coir in there, so I'm going to give them a little bit of that because it's feeling kind of sticky. Different kinds of paper must have, you know, different formulas or something. Um, sometimes it just takes more coconut coir to get that separation between the fibers. Okay, so the food for today is going to be, these are cooked um, corn cobs. Um, the salt got rinsed off, but there might still be some butter or something in there, so we'll see how that works. I'll cover that up with uh, some of the bedding, and then I'll cover that up with the castings. Now, we can probably expect to see that corn in there for another six months, but uh, you got to start sometime if you want them to eat it. All right, guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.